No, octopus, morb. Morbs are attracted to unhygienic conditions. Like your mother. Way! And frequently excrete basks of polluted oxygen. Okay. It's not gonna mop it. I was hoping it would, like, at least slowly get rid of the water. It doesn't seem like it's actually working the way I anticipated. That's fine. We dig, dig, dig. Soggy feet. Well... You just found a volcano. People warned me about them. Like, I'll, I'll be honest, if I found a volcano, I'd have digged it up just to have a look. Just to have a nose. Oh, you didn't, like, um, dig into it and activate it by accident. I feel like that would be me just not even realising. Like, la 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 la. Hang on a minute. It's a bit hot in here. Oh, you dug out the side. I feel like I would just forget and just keep digging and, like, accidentally do it one time. Right, so we got rid of a load of polluted water down here. Get rid of the... I got much more to go, to be honest. Right, let's go. Can I mop any of this up? I can. All right, we have got another printing thing, so let's have a look what's in here. Rust. Super hard digging already unlocked. Digging and ranching. Can't do building. Requires light to sleep. No, I'm all right. I can't be bothered. Farts frequently. I was warned to just always ignore that. Increased air consumption? Doesn't seem like too much of a problem. Starts with digging. Starts with two... Go on then, chat. Best name for your Maximus here. Would say keep it PG, but. Is it Ian? F oh, yeah. The last one was. I have no idea who any of these people are. I just want. Like, I need to put out a disclaimer for all the names. Yeah, yeah, I just saw it, I just saw it. Uh, yeah, just a disclaimer for when this goes on to YouTube. Um, I have no idea how who any of these people are. I am innocent. I am... And he's a delicate, that's not the right word. He's the creator of James Bond. So, it's probably... Quite fair, then, someone in my colonist would have such a name. Right? Right, get another cot over there. We need to go to schedule. We pro... Oh, no, we got that schedule there. And then we're at the point any schedules past this, we're going to have to make another one. Because our free toilet system will not be able to hold them down. Priorities come down here. Fleming! Go digging, my boy. Go digging. Digging, building... Yeah, it's fine. Oh, can I give you the world? Anything you want. Super hard digging. I don't actually... I just skip straight to that. That's interesting. There we go. You need another skill to be able to do to help with the ranching, which is fine. 
Cool, cool, cool. We're moving, we're grooving, we're having a good time. Right, we're getting rid of the polluted water here. Sorry, fish. Sorry, I feel like I've done you die. Apparently there's too much liquid in that one space. Them poor fish never stood a chance. There's like three fish in there and an egg. Apparently they're miserable. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. Do I? Do I? Cool. That clears out a very nice amount of area to do whatever we're going to do with the water geyser. So with the water geyser, I don't really know what to even expect with it to like how to dig around it. Should I just open it and then see from there or should I like have a plan? I'm hoping this water geyser is going to be absolute banger langen, which would be nice. But we're sorted, especially now moving that polluted water down there is obviously going to be key. We could eventually use this polluted water. It's the reason why I sort of kept it here, because it can be down this part of the base if we ever do want to use it. Especially with making um, fertilizer. I know fertilizer isn't the be all and end all, but it just makes this farm so OP. Food is going down a bit, but everyone is just having a miserable time. Well... I'm not saying the air has germs in, but there might be germs in the air. I mean, at this point, there's more germs than air in the air. Work that one out. Okay, so this is all majority cleared. Let me go. I'm actually tempted to just mine into it and see what happens. Just because I don't really know what to expect. Expect the worst and hope for the best. Right, get digging. So we're going to have loads of room to do whatever. It's probably going to be far too much room here. That's absolutely fine. I wouldn't even mind having another digging expedition. It's definitely how you say it. To actually, like, see what else is around. I don't actually think that's the worst idea I've ever had. Just to continue to explore as much as possible. Since everything at the base is sort of... Cool, calm, and collective... I do want to work out, so the smart storage stores solid materials of your choosing. Smart storage bins can automate resource organization based on type and mass. Dispensers. We'll store and drop resources. I feel like smart storage bins would be good to have. I don't really know. Oh, I don't think they're one. One per crusher. Oh, so I literally just link it up to the crusher. Oh, no, you silly sausage, Tazastical. You can see everything it links to. Imagine that that rock crusher is set to make copper forever. So, it, could I link this? Oh, hang on. So it just automatically goes in there. A fridge is also a smart storage. So I could literally... Can I... Can I do that and it will just automatically go into the fridge? Or do I need something else? No, it just turns off the grill when it's full. Oh. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. I understand what you mean. You mean 
if I set that for forever, that will fill that up. When that is filled, then it will turn the activity off. Exactly. Do I need anything else other than the wire to achieve that? A not gate. Which you don't have researched. So I can't do it yet. Well, but A not gate. Researching now. So is it worth... I want to open this to see what's inside. Well, I know what's inside, but obviously I, I have never said it. Like, should I have everything set up around it beforehand? Or can I just, like, mine into it now? God, my colonists are so sick. To be honest, I'm sick. Sick and tired of their attitudes. I love seeing them, like, fly down that fire pole. No, don't dig that, don't do that. Ah, oh, damn. Is the water coming from the snow and stuff as I'm mining it? More slime. The slime biomes are a pain in the bum to deal with. Absolutely a pain. Right, cancel that part. Did you just fall? A not gate in virtual signal, the smart storage sends the green signal in full, which means if you hook it up without a not gate, it will only turn on the rock crusher when it's full already, which doesn't help you. A not gate reverts that signal. Okay. Yeah, I, to be fair, it actually makes perfect sense, which... Yeah. I'm more surprised I understood it so quickly. Is it... A good idea, chat, to just mine this now. Or should I wait until I have a plan? <laughs> should I have a plan? Or should I have no plan? Chat responds, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, don't do that forever. I haven't set it up yet. Get out. Hassan, I'm watching you. I would wait until you have an insulated tile. Okay, fine, that's fine. So we're probably going to leave that then for this stream here. And then next stream when I jump on, um, I'll have a proper plan for that. So that's absolutely fine. And especially with all this area now cleaned and whatnot. That's absolutely perfect. So until then, the rest of the thing. So we're going to have a couple more of these tiles to actually see what's around the map. Because I haven't actually been the best in um, being nosy to actually see what we've got around. Which I suppose I should do. Obviously, I'm just try I'm only now understanding the full benefits of actually like looking at everything or trying to see what everything is. Oh yeah, that's the the cool slush guys around there. To be fair, I could start mining around this slowly. While we're not going to 
probably do anything with it anytime soon. It probably doesn't hurt having everything ready to go, especially like at this stage. I say words like... I want to see what's up top. Actually, no. I want to see what's up top. I've changed my mind. I'm a hypocrite. Right, is there anything else interesting? The fine interesting. Hmm. Right, let's go up this way. Let's keep going. Let's see what's around. Let's find a volcano. <laughs> Let's unleash a volcano. What is that? A vole egg. Are there any like critters, animals that like are really bad if I find them? Or is everything most like, is everything like cool, calm? Yeah, once you have an insulated tile, you can make just literally a box of insulated tiles around the geyser that the geyser will fill naturally the insulated tiles prevents the 95 celsius water from heating your entire base in the meantime okay All right but that's all ready to go like in the sense of this is an interesting biome Uranium ore. There are certain creatures that will fight back when attacked, and poke shells will attack dupes if there's an egg nearby. Yeah, you just need to research and build the tile, really. Okay, fair enough. I think I'm currently researching... Oh, is that already done? That was quick. Whoops. Insulated tile. Cool, we'll research that next. Is this the surface? Vacuum, unbreathable. No, surely not, right? Yeah, it looks like the edge of space. I didn't know if there was an edge or anything, okay. Is there any reason to come out here? Oh, this is the edge. This is the edge. Find the edge of the map. Flowers. This game, there is so much to it. Honestly, blows my mind. Not to keep repeating myself, but that's so awesome. Yeah, I don't need to dig any of this. Okay. Yes, once you go high enough, there will be stars visible and no backing tile. It will show space exposure instead of vacuum. Any liquid or gas that has space will get deleted. Okay. Good to know. You're helping me learn, chat. We're going to be victorious. Alright, let's take this tile all the way here. I suppose we're just in the exploring, um mood this evening. We've done a lot of digging out. I don't think there's anything else. Oh. I'm gonna have to keep getting more people. How many people can actually fit in one bedroom? Six.
No. Doesn't actually say. Okay, we've got seeds. You can use the drywall to remove space exposure debuff from a base and have a sky base. The benefits of to this is heat doesn't transfer in a vac vacuum. So you can, Oh, that's interesting. They will never heat each other up, even if you make a mistake and release a ton of gas, it will just get deleted. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I really wanted to um, just nick a colonist here, but none of them are super duper. We're actually making like too much food. It's fine. Should probably regulate it a little bit more, but. Let's just do like 50. Barbecue. 50. And I'll see how I go with that. Yeah, like the idea of like that someone worked out how to do that is actually amazing. Have a proper sky base. Comfy bed. So I like to build my base as I have a hot industrial right next to my dupe living area. That's a very clever way to have a base. Oh, we've got another natural gas geyser here. I'm going to keep mining up that way because I just want to have a look for my own um, experience, what it all looks like. Such a pretty game. It's crazy how I feel like, uh, like uh, at one point I was like, okay, I feel like I'm understanding and it's like, no, no, you can have sky bases. Um, Wait, if I go flashbang everyone watching, where's the other geyser? Okay. Just natural gas. I couldn't. I didn't know if it had any like massive heat coming off it. Lots of coal. I feel like now I'm getting like a proper gauge of the map and what it has to offer. I want to do something with this natural gas geyser. I feel like it's a bit beyond me at the moment. I'm going to have to find... I want to be able to use it since I've got it. Fun fact for later is the metal refinery is actually power positive. It takes 1,200 watts to refine metals, but it generates enough heat that if dumped into steam can create more than 1,200 watts of power. That's I love systems like that that like, can be so self-efficient that you can just like set up and just leave. I find that so interesting. There's a better word to say, but just to, just, just, just not. Although, I would like to say, I'm about to hit cycle 100 very shortly. Nine colonists, cycle 100. Very happy with that. Might not be the most advanced base at this point, but I've had fun. Hey! A bit of music. Look at that! Cycle 100! Very nice!
The game giving me Steam rewards. We are here. Lovely. Speech, speech. Well, I couldn't have done it without you, chat. Couldn't have done it without you. Just want to thank everyone that made this possible. Chat. This is my first ever base. First ever save, first ever base. What is this? A weight plate. Cycle sensor. Interesting. A volcano's confirmed on every map or not. Let's go star map. Imagine it would tell me, right? But then it does say unknown guys as 10? No, I don't think so. Okay. But did that mean that I have 10 more guys as on the map? Unless you went with a planetoid with a volcanic trait. Okay. You get quite a lot then. Since you're playing spaced out, there is a magma planet. I want to do a save. Like, I want to do like that. Well, not right this second. I'm not very good at the game. But when I get better at the game, I want to do like really, really tough, like, save ideas. And that has guaranteed volcanoes. Cool. Go on, mate, you can do it. I don't actually know why I sent you this far out, mate, because we're at the edge of the map. So you're going to have to take my apologies, in all honesty, but I've wasted your time and I've wasted my time. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's really, really beautiful. That's cool. Such a pretty game. That's so clever how they do this art style. That's not cheaty if that's how you like to have like into the This hasn't created a problem, has it? No. End of the day, games are meant to be played for fun. If you're having fun, that's all that matters. If that enhances your fun. Sounds like a good idea to me. Ooh, you're not trapped. Oh, you are trapped. You coming to dig this? Yep. Yeah, I see, man. I'll probably just try different saves. That's normally how I find out what I like on. Game, so I have like one save, but I like tricky saves. Do you know what I mean? Saves with a bit of like something can go wrong. <laughs> 